Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. In this video, we take a deep dive into the new Mid Journey feature, Remix. It's Mid Journey's version of inpainting and outpainting. It will completely change the way you make images. We'll start with an introduction to Remix and I'll show you how to turn on the feature. Then I'll show you what Remix can do. We'll change the aspect ratio of an image and we'll get adventurous and change some prompts, including adding some advanced text weights. Finally, I'll show you how to remix older images if you get an error. In a previous video, I showed you how to create custom parameters with the slash prefer option set and slash prefer suffix. I'll put a link to this video in the description below. But recently, Midjourney added a new slash prefer option. This is slash prefer remix, and it's a game changer. Let's see how it works. So what is Remix anyway? Remix is Midjourney variations on steroids. Midjourney has always let you make variations. When Midjourney gives you a grid, you can upscale one or more of the images or make variations of one or more of the images. Or you can choose to reroll your prompt and get a new set of images. When you make variations, you're asking Midjourney to zero in on one image and give you more of the same. Remix works a little differently. When you turn on Remix, you can change the prompt before you make variations. You can change or add to the description, or change and add parameters. Before Remix, you couldn't change the prompt at all, without rolling the whole prompt again and hoping Midjourney gave you a similar output. Remix means that you can react to the image Midjourney creates and modify or correct elements. For this Remix, I simply typed young woman into the prompt and the old woman becomes young. So how do you get Remix? You may be working quite happily in Midjourney and not even notice the Remix tool. You're making images, upscaling, and creating variations. There's no reference to Remix. There's no Remix switch or variation button. Remix is like a lamp in a dark room. You have to turn it on to see it. In the message bar, type slash prefer Remix and click enter or return. You'll get a message confirming that you are now in Remix mode. That's it, you've turned on Remix. Now when you click the variation, you get a pop-up window. Type in a modification to your image and click submit. Let's add the color blue to the butterfly. If you use prefer commands to make custom prompts, you'll notice that the remix option is new as of mid-October 2022. Adding the word blue to this prompt gave the butterfly a hint of neon blue coloring on its wings. The only difference you'll see will be the color of the variation buttons. When you have remix turned on, the variation button will turn green instead of purple. If you don't want to make specific changes when you make variations, turn off the Remix and use the regular variation tool. To turn off Remix and go back to regular variations, type slash prefer Remix in the message bar. Click return and you'll get a message telling you that Remix is turned off. Now that we've turned on Remix, let's put it to work. With Remix, you can theoretically change anything in the prompt. For example, I added a reflection of the tree in the water, and I added bokeh, or blur, to the artist's sketch. Let's start by changing a parameter, and then we'll add some detail to the prompt itself. You can change or add any parameter, but I'm always forgetting to add an aspect ratio, so I end up with square images. Remix is the perfect tool for me. With Remix, I can fix the aspect ratio. Make sure you're in Remix mode. Click Make Variations. Notice the button turns green when you have Remix turned on. The prompt window appears and then simply type in a new parameter. In this case, dash dash AR3 colon two. Now I have a new version of the image. Notice that Remix didn't just add foliage on either side of the waterfall. It expanded the waterfall to fill the wider space. Remix works a little like outpainting in DALI, but it's more of a stretch tool. You can modify other parts of the prompt too. I decided that this staircase needed a figure walking up it. Click Make Variations. In the prompt box, add what you want to see. In this case, woman walking up the staircase. You can add more description if you want. I also tried woman in white flowing dress walking up the staircase. Let's see the results.
The original is on the left, and Midjourney added a woman on the steps, first in blue and then in white as I asked. Notice that other elements of the image are slightly changed, like the shadows coming in from the window and the detail in the staircase, but the overall vibe and color scheme of the image remain the same. Using Remix this way is a little like in painting in Dali. Let's try Remix on another image. I like the circular balcony, but this image has a big blank space on the wall above the staircase. Let's see if we can fix that with Remix. Remix results can be a little unpredictable. I added a skylight and dramatic light from above. It added another balcony, and it also changed the staircase completely. Remix doesn't always give you the effect you want, and sometimes you won't see a change at all in your variation. Remix lets you add weights to subjects in your prompts by using multi-prompts. Let's add some red apples, and I'll add a double colon with a weight next to apples and bananas. But remember, weights don't work with test and test P, so for now, I'll remove these parameters. When we get the composition the way we want it, we can remove the weights and add test or test P back again. Or we can remaster and it will turn the double colons into commas. If you try remixing older images, you may get an internal error. Something went wrong. This seems really scary, but the error is simply saying that your image is too old to work with remixing. You can't remix older images unless you make them new again. Find the image or job ID. There are two ways to do this. You can send the image to yourself as a message. Simply react with the envelope emoji. The bot will send you the a copy of the job ID. Copy the job ID. Or you can go to your homepage and find the image and click the three dot icon. You can copy the job ID there. Now in the message bar, type slash show and paste the job ID. Hit enter, and now you can make variations with the new remix feature. So all the images that I love that are in square aspect ratio, I can now change and expand, or maybe I can fix a wonky eye in a portrait. There are a few quirks to working with Remix at the moment, but the potential of this tool is enormous. Simply add a few words or modify your prompt and make a variation. Let us know the tips and tricks you've discovered using Remix. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.